Hello my friends. We're going on a mama daughter date. It is Saturday and we're going to see Aladdin at yeah. Q-Pack. The musical. I'm very excited. Are you excited mama? Absolutely. Oh, it's really bright out here. I've never been to a musical. Oh, actually, I have. We went to The Lion King when I was really young. Yes. But yeah, I haven't I've been seen. to a musical in a very long time. Oh, they have all these markets going on today. Well, Look at the beautiful it. background. Ah, I'm so excited. Whoa. We just found our seats. Thank you, Daniel, for yes, letting us come. <laughs> Daniel bought mum tickets and I get to come because Daniel's in Sydney. It'll be good, I'm excited. I can't film the show, obviously, because there's no photography once the show has started, but I can film at the moment. They're really nice here, all the stuff. Yes. They're really nice. They're not supposed to work. Yeah, yeah, it would be. You get to see all the shows. Yes. That's right. I just got home from Aladdin and it was amazing. Like it was incredible. 10 out of 10 would recommend for sure. It was it was so good. I wish I could have filmed it because it was just so absolutely incredible. It was so colorful and they were dancing and singing and I was like, how are you not losing breath? Because you're dancing and singing at the same time and like jumping around, but it was great. It was really, really great. The genie was just like, wow. But I thought I'd show you my outfit before I get changed because I'm really ready to get out of this. So my earrings are from Lavisa. My dress slash jumpsuit is actually a jumpsuit, but it's like hard to tell when I'm just standing normally. Please excuse my messy bedroom. That is the next thing that I need to get done. Um, yeah, my dress slash jumpsuit is from Valley Girl. I got it for Christmas, if you guys saw my what I got for Christmas haul. It also has like slits in the legs, which is really cool. I really like that. And then my shoes are just like these mini heels from Kmart. And that's my outfit and I'm going to get changed now. My room is an absolute pigsty right now and I hate it. But I'm also so ridiculously tired right now. And I really don't feel like cleaning my room. But I'm thinking that if I vlog me doing a time lapse of me cleaning my room, I'm going to be so much more motivated to get it done quicker. Because the quicker I do it, the easier it is for me to edit it. Like if I get sidetracked and go and sit on my phone or something, then I have to edit that out. And it's just easier if I don't have to edit anything out. So this is my motivation currently. You guys are my motivation. Plus, I think you guys really like watching these. I think they're so satisfying to watch. So enjoy. Good morning guys, it is Sunday morning and I had such a good sleep last night. I went to bed at like 9 or 9.30, just very early compared to the time that I've been going to bed in the past like week or so. If you guys saw my last vlog, you guys know I was really stressed and like wasn't sleeping as much and so last night was the first time that I could just sleep as long as I wanted to. So originally I was supposed to get up at 6 this morning, but I slept in till like 7, which is like a huge sleep in for me. Even 6 o'clock was going to be a sleep in for me. And now I'm just kind of getting stuff done. I have a lot of uni work to do today, so that'll basically be my day kind of preparing for the week ahead. But I thought I'd show you guys my weekly planner. So last week I told you guys that I'm just like a really busy person. I have a lot of stuff to do. And I'm going to show you how I plan out my week. So here we have my bullet journal. Actually, I haven't showed you guys my March layout yet, so let's show you that quickly. Oops, I haven't even colored in this bit. I've, I haven't really finished it yet, but this is my March cover page. Super simple. I also did these succulents, and I've seen a few of the really big bullet journal people do this for March, and I did this like weeks ago, and I was like, ah, oh, now it looks like I'm copying them, but I promise I'm not. So then I just have my monthly thingamajig. I have my habit tracker here, and then I have my sleep tracker here. As you can see, I had a long slip last night. Then I have my daily highlights, so my favorite part of each day, my expenses, don't really want to go into that. March 100. So basically, I haven't really filled this out yet. I want to run 100 kilometers this month not like at one time but just like overall so every time i run a kilometer i get to color in a little box and i'm going to see if i can run a hundred by the end of the month this keeps going further than that just because i had more space so i was like oh, i may as well like fill it in and then this is my run keeper where i just run my time and my um distance but i haven't filled it in yet which i really need to and then i have my favorites video ideas and brand deals because I like to keep track of the brands that I work with. And then we just have my first weekly layout. So what I like to do is have obviously the days of the week 
at the top here. Then along the side here, I have the time. So mine goes from 5 a.m. till 10 p.m. And then I can just fill it in. And I just have my prayer, my praise, and my to-do down the side. Because I really like having those there. That's just what works for me. So as you can see, I've like filled in little colored blocks. All of the colored blocks represent different things, if that makes sense. So like yellow is uni, green is social, and so on. And this is literally just me sitting at the side of the week putting in my routine things so the things like uni and work and churchy things that I I don't want to say I have to do them but it's just like the things that I do every week and they're filled in I think besides this one thing all of these things are like routine things that I do every single week so as you can see my week is already so incredibly busy and I haven't even started to put in like social things with friends or studying or dinners or anything that I like still have to do but I just yeah I haven't filled any of that in so it's gonna be a really busy week as per usual what else would you expect from me but I just really like planning it out like this because I find that I get to see how much time I have visibly and it just makes me feel a lot better about knowing what I have to do so that's what this morning has consisted of. Hello and welcome to Crazy Fun Sunday Afternoons with Rachel. Currently doing this reading. I've almost finished. It's a really fun time. Love reading. Super, super fun. Just keeps going and going and going. But yeah, I've almost finished it. I've only got like a few pages left to go and then I'm done. I'm also just taking some notes here of important things that I want to take note of. Actually while I'm here I had someone ask me how I print my PowerPoints and how I get multiple slides on like one page. So basically what I do is I go to like print and they have all the options here and then all I do is I go to slides if it wants to focus. Yeah I go to slides and then I just click slick sli slick slides <laughs> I can't say per page and it comes up like this and then I print it like that but you can do it like a bunch of different yeah bunch of different things so yeah you can do two or four or six or nine or whatever you want to do it's a good time so I'm about to head off to church and I thought I'd show you my outfit so I have these earrings on from Colette that have these little orange tassels I have my normal necklace from butterfly silver that I always wear I have this top from City Beach and this skirt that I got from an op shop and it just has so many different layers it's so beautiful so many different colors and layers i'm kind of in two minds about it part of me thinks that it looks really really pretty but the other part of me thinks that it looks a little bit too much like the magic carpet out of aladdin so oh well we're just gonna roll with it and see how it goes and then i'm just gonna wear my target slides that have the crissy crossy leathery looking straps. Hello my friends, I'm just about to finish off this vlog because I'm about to start a new one. So I hope you guys did enjoy this vlog, but before I go, I do have a question. Obviously I've just finished my RC Summer series, but I just want some help to know what to call these vlogs because at the moment I feel like they're just vlogs. And I don't know if I should call it like RC Daily or like RC Weekly, but it's kind of in between, so it's not really either of those. So if you guys have any ideas, because I feel like your ideas are a lot better than mine, please leave me a comment below. Give me some suggestions. It doesn't have to have RC in front of it. It just it just seems like it sounds cool to me, but it might not. Maybe that sounds really lame, actually. But if you guys have any better ideas, which I'm sure you do, please leave them in the comments below because I would literally love to know. But I'm just gonna go now. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.